And put him on in the fourth throne. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy and for his forever. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. Wisdom. The reading for the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Wisdom, let us attend. Brethren, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your forbearance be known to all people. The Lord is at hand. He answers for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your petition be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are honorable, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good report, if there is any virtue, if there is any praise, think about these things. The things which you both learned and received and heard and saw in me, these things do, and the God of peace will be with you. Peace be with thee that readeth. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus, who had died, was, whom Jesus raised from the dead. And there they made a supper. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly ointment of pure dart and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the ointment. But Jesus Iscariot, Simon's son, one of his disciples, he who was to betray Jesus said, Why was this ointment not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? And then he said, This is not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. And as he had the money box, he used to take what was put into it. And Jesus said, Let her alone. Keep it for this day for my burial. For the poor you will always have with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of Jews learned that he was there, they came. Not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So the chief priest planned to put Lazarus also to death, because on account of him many Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. The next day a great crowd who had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young ass and sat upon it. And as is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, for behold, your king is coming, sitting on an ass's coal. His disciples did not understand at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that this had been written of him and had been done to him. The crowd had, had been with Jesus when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead, bore witness. The reason why the crowd went to meet Jesus was they heard that he had done this sign. Glory to the Lord, glory to the Please be seated.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, ages of ages. Amen. Um, the Gospel lesson today is filled with important things, including uh, Mary of Bethany anointing the feet of Jesus for his burial. Uh, obviously, uh, the uh, nard that she had was what was left over from uh, anointing Lazarus' body when he was placed in the tomb. And somehow um, the instinct occurred to her to anoint Jesus for burial, even though it was not obvious yet that he was going to be buried. Uh, and of course Judas complained because he wanted the money to be put in the money box. His excuse was money for the poor. But uh, Jesus had said, you know, hey, don't bother her. Uh, what she done will be remembered. She's preparing me for my burial. And this swirling crowd gathered around uh, the house of Lazarus and Mary and Martha because of the miracle of raising uh, Lazarus from the dead, which had a huge impact uh, in terms of uh, bringing people to Jesus and believing in Jesus who had been swayed by the criticism of the uh, Sadducees and the scribes and the Pharisees. And the next morning, uh, they, they heard rumor that Jesus was going to enter Jerusalem, and Jesus does this sign, which is predicted in the, by the prophet Zacharias, uh, about uh, the king is going to uh, enter the holy city on the cult of an ass. And that's what he does. And of course, it's a, it's a magnificent, uh, triumphant parade with people shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, and laying down palm fronds. The disciples themselves laid on the donkey their outer cloaks, uh, and the people had seen this with laying cloaks down for the donkey to walk over as Jesus came in. They were clearly welcoming Jesus as the Messiah King. Of course, they had the defective idea that he was going to uh, take over from the uh, Sanhedrin, and that he was going to mass an army and kick the Romans out. And they didn't realize that his enthronement was going to happen on Friday on a cross. Uh, and uh, that that would be his enthronement uh, in the kingdom of heaven forever. And uh, yet the triumphal entry, as it says, the disciples later remembered, you know, what the sign meant. Um, and it was the clearly sign it was the king entering the holy city to be enthroned. Today we remember that event. And we shout Hosanna. And we carry palm fronds to remember our king, the king of the universe, entering the holy city to be enthroned uh, in the kingdom of heaven forever and to be uh, to carry our flesh next to the right hand of God and to carry the intercessions for us for our salvation to the Father. And so today we remember that great event in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. Let us...